I see, of course, that a lot needs to be done and that we really have to put more emphasis into this field than it has been done in the past. When I started to work on infections and cancer, it was really ridiculed by many of my colleagues because nobody believed that agents, it's not true, nobody, but very few people believed that agents, infectious agents may play a role in cancer. And uh, this is, of course, a dramatic change which took place during the past, I would say, decade or maybe two decades. And it's now well accepted that they are a relatively high risk factor. If you wish to say so, they are the highest identified, clearly identified risk factor where you know exactly the mechanism, how it, they cause cancer in comparison to, to many other risk factors, factors, including smoking. And on the global scene, they seem to be even more important than smoking. But I do not, of course, wish to, to uh, minimize the effect of, of smoking, which is clearly a most important risk factor for lung cancer, particularly here in, the, in large parts of the world. I wish to convey the message to convince young people in particular to start to work in this area because I feel personally I feel it's very worthwhile to do this. Well, it's my tip to look into some common human cancers uh, by formulating the right hypothesis and to, to check them, to prove them or to disprove them uh, in order to uh, be sure what is happening in these cases. And if you identify the cause, then you have either possibilities to prevent or even in some instances to cure the respective types of cancer. So that's the reason why it's so important to, to look carefully into these uh, aspects.